Okay, welcome to the video on creating forms in LibreOffice. Uh, you'll see I have the file Northwind ODB, which is the same one that uh, could be used with OpenOffice, but LibreOffice has seemed to be uh, more reliable. If I click on Tables, you'll see the tables from the Northwind database are listed here. Under Forms, I've already created a products form. I'm going to also uh, create a supplier's form. So let's do that now. Let's create a supplier's form. Use the wizard to create a form. Table suppliers. The double arrow here lets me use all of the fields. Next. No sub form, so I'll say next. The uh, I like this arrangement here, the labels on top let you move stuff around easily. Uh, the form is to display all data, that's fine. Uh, the style doesn't matter, next. And the default name of the form is suppliers, which is fine. And finish. And what you have is kind of a rough draft of a form. But I would say it's not very user friendly, right? Because we got addresses first. We should probably have company name at the top, so it's just a little bit more readable. And then country would should be next to the city to make that more readable. To uh, get to edit this, you can see we're kind of in data sheet view because it's displaying data from the table. We have to close it here, and you'll see it's been added here. And I'll do a control click and go to edit. So edit is kind of like design view in access. And then I can move these things around. So I put the contact name near the top. Actually, I want company name at the top. Where was that? Yeah. Let's put company name at the top and we'll move address out of the way. Contact name under company name. And a little space address city, and we'll make some room because the uh, region kind of would go good right next to city, but we'll make that a little smaller. Uh, it's kind of like the state, and then we can fit, we'll be able to fit the country here to the right of that. So, Making a form user-friendly is uh, putting the different elements near where they make sense to the reader of the form. Uh, things like the word company name, we'd like to put a space in that. Uh, it takes two steps to do that. One, uh, because these, the word company name and this box are kind of connected together. So first we'll do control, click. Uh, group, ungroup. It, group, it ungroups them into two different pieces. Then we can click away and double click on company name, general, and here is what's printed on the screen. We'll put the space in there and close. And so now we have company name with a space. Uh, if we wanted to, I'll double click again. We could have changed this is where we changed the font to. So we can do uh, bold, eight point, okay. Whoop, did I? Oh, it's uh, the uh, E is not quite fitting. I have to make the box a little bit bigger so it prints out the word company name now that I made the font bigger. All right, there you go. So that's a basic uh, form. You really should do some more editing that to make it look a little better. I just did it quickly to uh, show you what's available. You can put objects in there and stuff like that. Uh, you can put additional labels in here with um, this thing here is just for the label field. It's just for putting some extra stuff on the screen. So I could click that, click that, double click. And other information to uh, the you know think of the user of this form as somebody doing data entry. All right, 
Now, uh, another uh, step is to, we could make a button here to make it easy for some to jump from the suppliers to the products. Making a button is a two-step process in that we have to have a macro that opens the form first, and then we can make a button and attach that. So let me, uh, let's go to tools, macros, organize macros, open office basic, and then here's our Northwind ODB. Uh, mine says form examples, but that's just the file name. And we'll do a new module, module one. And then within that module, we're going to put a macro. So I'm going to, I will give you this text in a file. And we're going to copy this over to underneath end sub here. We'll do control paste. So we're going to open, and we don't want to open orders. We're going to open um, products. The word I'm typing here doesn't really matter. It's just the name of the macro. But this thing in quotes is what form will open. All right. And I will save that. And now I've created the macro. I'm going to add a push button. So buttons are called push button in LibreOffice. Put a push button here. Double click. The label is what's written on top of the push button. So open products form would be informative. And then when to do it is the event. That's the execute action. And we'll click these three dots. Assign a macro. And we'll have to go look for it over here. Here's our, that module one thing we created. And open products with the macro. And we'll click OK. OK. Close. Now to see it work, we're in edit mode here. So we have to close this. Save this. Um, and now we'll double click on suppliers without clicking edit and then our open products form will now open the products form all right so that's how to create a button and the button is uh probably one of the main uh tools we have to create a user interface in LibreOffice. so in access we have the navigation form which doesn't uh, exist so instead of a navigation form, you can um, create a form in design view and just design something that looks like a computer system menu. So label this, uh, put a text box here, double click, general, main, menu for my forms. Maybe a capital M. And scroll down here. And uh, font. And bold. 10. OK. And then you can put um, more of these buttons push button and double click event execute action macro open product
So I've made one button. You should be able to make a second button that opens something else. All you have to do is, uh, in the macro editor, paste, paste the second copy of that language and change the uh, form name. So I'll close this, save this. Uh, I need to give it a form name. Let's call it navigation form to match access, but it doesn't uh, matter too much. File names, I like to leave the spaces out, or object names in this case. And there you have it. So you have a navigation form, two uh, data entry forms, and a button.